Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a Black Friday haul, my first Black Friday haul, and I know it is before Black Friday, but all of these brands have been starting their sales earlier this year, like already, like the first week of November stuff has kind of gone crazy, so I have a pretty large order from Ulta and also from Pat McGrath, those are my main two, but I have kind of gotten a head start on my Black Friday shopping with all these deals going on. Ulta had a five times points on fragrance offer as well as some stuff marked down. So I just had to participate in this awesome sale. But there's even more to come. Like I'm probably going to have a part two for sure. I do want to mention this video is sponsored today by Top Cash Back. I've worked with them many times in the past. And they are something that you must use, especially when shopping online for Black Friday or for Christmas because you're going to get cash back on your orders if you shop through them. So basically, you do need to have an account. It is free to sign up. And once you have that started, you're going to go ahead and search for whatever store you're going to be shopping on. Now, they don't have everyone, but they have so many. So most likely, they're going to have it. And they do have Ulta on there. So you're just going to put in the search bar, search for Ulta Beauty. At the time I am filming, it is 4% cash back. So you're going to go ahead and click that and click get cash back now which is going to redirect you to the Ulta site so that's going to be your link you're going to shop with to make sure you're getting the 4% back on your total purchase. As you can see, they're having their early Black Friday deals this weekend. They have so many offers. I'm looking at the Lancome Idol perfume. You guys know I'm a perfume junkie and they have this one marked down to $69.30 for the 1.7 ounce. It's originally $99, so that's awesome. It's not quite half, but almost there. I always love to check out the new arrivals, so we're gonna head to the new arrivals page because I saw that they added a ton of new drugstore makeup. So first thing I noticed is L'Oreal and Maybelline have already dropped some new drugstore. Now, usually we don't see the new drugstore until like January 2022 is when a lot of stuff is going to come out, but it's starting to drop already. They have a L'Oreal Glow Paradise Lip Balm. They also have a Glow Paradise Cheek Tint. I really want to try this. They also have this Instant Age Rewind Whipped Matte Makeup from Maybelline. So curious about that. You guys know I have oily skin, so I'm definitely going to add this to my cart. Once you have your cart ready to go, you're just going to check out as normal, and you will earn that 4% back on your total purchase. I love that this is just something free and easy to use to make some extra money back, especially if you're already shopping on the sites for sales. It's like an extra discount. So I'll have the link to Top Cash Back down below for you guys to sign up. You're also going to get a $10 sign up bonus when you spend your first $25 through Top Cash Back using my link. But let's go ahead and get into this haul. All right, guys. So let's start with my giant Ulta box here of my pre-Black Friday sale haul. So some of this stuff is not gonna have the same deal as when I bought it, but it's just kind of some stuff that you know, I would recommend if it does go on sale, if you guys just wanna pick it up in general, cause there is gonna be more sales to come. But anyways, I was talking about that they had five times points on perfume and fragrance. So they also had a points multiplier for the Carolina Herrera Good Girl and the Good Girl or the good boy, I guess it's called the good girl and the good boy. So it ended up being 10 times points if I bought the good girl. So I actually own the good girl Supreme. I wasn't sure if I would love the original, but I've been spraying this when I go into Ulta some days and I really do enjoy this scent as well. And I think it is different enough than the Supreme. So got 10 points, 10 times points on this. I love doing points multipliers, even though I'm not really getting a discount on the product itself, but I earned a thousand points basically with this, which is almost like $50 off for your next purchase. Technically not, but it's always best to save your points to 2000 and then you get $125. So I actually bought like the middle size, I guess, of this. So it's pretty big. It's bigger than my Supreme. I only have the one ounce in that, but I believe this one is the 1.7. And I love that it's a shoe. And this one actually sprays out of the top of the shoe as well. So I did get the Good Girl. This scent, I, I am really loving it, honestly. The Supreme is definitely more of a sweet vanilla. This one's definitely more evening it's very sexy um i still get sweetness from this as well it's like a warm floral is what the fragrance firmly would be but i think it is so good 
lasts seriously forever. I could smell this on me all night long. It's longer lasting than the Supreme. I do like the Supreme scent a little bit better just for every day, but this is definitely going to be a favorite for fall and winter and for evenings. I just feel like going out on a date, going out at night, this is what I want to wear. It just smells amazing. So I'm so glad that I did pick this one up. I think I'm going to get so much use out of this. I definitely racked up some points with that purchase for sure. I also picked up another new perfume. I decided to try one new scent with the five times points. So this one was pretty affordable um, since I only got 1.3 ounce, but it's by Jimmy Choo, and this is the Jimmy Choo Fever scent. I actually picked this up because I was watching Jasmine Bullard. She's one of my favorite channels here. Uh, she does a lot of perfume reviews, a lot of Bath and Body Works stuff. You guys probably know her, but she had did like a favorite fall, I think, scent, and this was included. So I was like, hey, that sounds really good. Let me try this out because I'm not really a huge fan of the other Jimmy Choo scents but this one seemed more like sweeter something I would personally like so this is the bottle on the fever scent smelling this one it is so sweet I get definitely fruity notes in this one and a little bit of a floral background but it's definitely mainly a sweet fruity fragrance but I still feel like it works for the fall time because it has almost this warmth to it. If you guys like scents like YSL Black Opium, I think you would really like this. It kind of falls along the same lines of that, but still different at the same time. I figured I would look up the notes on this one if you guys are curious. It's actually described as a floral gourmand, which I'm surprised about. The top notes are black plum nectar, middle notes of heliotrope, and then base of roasted tonka bean. I tend to love scents with tonka bean in it. It really warms up a fragrance. And yeah, definitely the fruitiness from the black plum really is hitting with this one. So I am really enjoying that scent. I did pick up some new self tan. I have not tried this one yet, but it's from St. Tropez and it's their ultimate glow kit. So I'm not sure if this is like a different color than some of the other ones I've tried because I pretty much only use St. Tropez. It's my go-to self tan brand. I have it on now. <laughs> I'm actually just wearing their regular mousse. This one's the cotton candy one, I think, or marshmallow. But um, this one it says it's a self tan luxe whipped cream mousse, which sounds different, and limited edition mitt. It's in partnership with Ashley Graham. This was half off during the sale, so I figured I would pick this up and see if I like it because I feel like everyone has been raving about this one in particular, and I've just been like, is it different though or is it the same? So it comes in this tube. Let's open it up. So it does look different. It says it's a whipped cream mousse, so it must be a little different than the other ones are. It says it's the perfect combination of tanning skin skincare and fragrance. This indulgent mousse effortlessly creates a natural looking sun kiss glow that lasts all week. I would love that. So it seems to be more on the natural side. I know usually their stuff is like medium or dark, but we'll see how this goes. I'm really excited to try that out. And then it also came with a mitt, which I did need a new mitt, so that was awesome. So here is the mitt as well. And it just has St. Tropez and Ashley Graham all over. So hopefully this kit will be on sale again. I know usually St. Tropez is on sale during Ulta's like Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. So I will link that down below if you guys want to check it out. I also stocked up on my lashes. So they were doing a deal on Kiss. I think it was half off, which is really good, honestly, because usually they only do like buy two get one free and stuff like that so i picked up two of my favorite lashes you can see i already dipped into this one because i needed them this morning for my photo shoot i'm wearing them now but these are the kiss number 11s it says full bouncy volume and curl these are just very natural gorgeous lashes i love the length on these i never have to trim them they're perfect for smaller eyes if you guys have large eyes these are probably not going to show up very well on you but if you have small lid space i think you'll really like these because they really do open up the eyes a bit they're not too heavy they have a very thin band on them so I personally love these so I got two packs I also got some new glue which I also already took out of here let me grab it I think it's in my makeup bag yes I needed glue so bad I should have bought more so I might go ahead and buy some more this is actually a new one I picked up um, from kiss I usually use their kiss lash glue anyway but this one seemed like a new kind from the lash couture line it still has the brush tip but this one actually had better reviews than the original did so I went ahead and picked up this so far they seem pretty on par with the other ones I wouldn't say it's any better or any worse. It seems kind of the same to me from what I have tried, but I did grab that at the discount too. And then I did get a little free gift bag with my purchase, so I figured I would just quickly go through what was all 
in here. It looks like a free full size of Mega Babe antibacterial wipes. We got the pink bag. They had a few different options and you can kind of see what was inside, but the pink bag looked pretty good. There's like proactive in here. Tons of foil packets, honestly. There is a Clarins Reboost Hydrating Cream. They have the Valentino Donna Born in Roma perfume sample. I love this stuff. Also, lots of perfume. Ellis Brooklyn Sweet. I've been dying to try this one. Let's just try it on camera because this is the main reason why I got this sample bag and chose this one in particular. Uh, I love Ellis Brooklyn scents, especially the honey. Oh my gosh, so good. But I've been wanting to try Sweet. It has notes of pear, orris, amber, and marshmallow. So let's actually put some on. Ooh, that's pretty. It's a lot lighter than I thought. Like This would definitely be more of a spring-summer scent. It's really nice though. I love the pear and marshmallow mixed together. It gives it such a bright fruitiness. I could definitely see myself buying this for spring summer. So maybe early next year you might see this. Maybe next Sephora VIB sale or if Ulta does another coupon. Because this is pretty. But I definitely would like this for like daytime in the warmer months. But I'm really glad I tested it out because now I know I do like it. We also got Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue for perfume and also the Angel Nova by Terry Mugler. So this kit had so many different perfumes in it. NYX Marshmallow Primer Sample, all of these little foil packets. So I won't go really too in depth with that, but I love when they have these free gifts with purchase. So I got this little pink bag. So that's everything I got from Ulta. It wasn't like a huge haul, but it was like some exciting perfumes and a couple other restocks. Let me get into my Pat McGrath order. So Pat McGrath started their sale really early I know they did a fall sale but the Black Friday sale was really good because it also included their holiday collection so they have up to 35% off going on right now I ended up I think getting 30% and it shipped really fast, which is surprising because Pemagrath shipping is usually very, very slow. But I'm so excited to show you what I picked up during the Black Friday sale. I got some stuff that I've been wanting, and they did restock some stuff since the fall sale. A lot of stuff sold out so fast, but I am so excited to finally have this quad. I've been wanting this since last year and never purchased it, but it's the Celestial Divinity Lux Quad in Interstellar Icon. So this came out with their holiday collection last year finally have this in my hands and this is like the really pretty blue eyeshadow palette so this is what it looks like oh my gosh I am obsessed already with this I really wanted it for the shade here I'm not one to usually buy a lot of quads but this one really has called my attention and I feel like quads are nice just for an easy quick look so I'll go ahead and swatch this quad for you guys um, I will say with this one it's all shimmer shades so I don't usually love that, but with Pat McGrath shimmers, they're really easy to work with, so I definitely feel more comfortable with her formula, using more shimmers like in the crease and just having fun with my makeup, but check out these swatches. That blue is insane. It's like a blue-purple shift. All these colors are stunning, so I'm really happy I finally picked up this little quad. I also bought from this year's holiday collection, I bought the highlighter and I am so excited. I've been wanting this one because it just looks so stunning and Sephora like never got it in stock. So I was glad to get the 30% off on this. And this is the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter. Um, I guess it's just called Sublime, Sublime Skin then. So let me show you guys what this looks like. Here is the beautiful gold and black mirrored packaging and oh my gosh look at this that is so beautiful this embossment is stunning i don't even want to dip my fingers into this but we'll do it we'll do we'll ruin it a little Ooh, this is very metallic let's see i'll put it on the side here so you guys can see Ooh, the color is beautiful there it is swatch on the side it looks a little little bit dark from the pan, but I feel like on me, it's looking a little more like rosy pink. I think I can definitely make this work light-handed. It might be a little bit dark, but this has so much metallic shine to it. It just looks so beautiful. So I'm really excited to try this out. Maybe I can put a little bit on now. I'm not actually wearing anything for highlighter, but I'll just tap a little tiny bit on my cheekbones. Ooh. My goodness 
It looks beautiful, honestly. It doesn't look too dark once I get it on the skin. So pretty. Definitely a beaming highlight for sure. So I don't know if this is available on Sephora. I don't know if it came in stock or what the deal is, but I figured I would pick this up during the Pat McGrath sale. Really pleased with that. Oh, it's called Lunar Nude is the name. <laughs> it does have a name. I did grab a backup of the concealer. I tried a new shade. Everything was like sold out, but I needed something lighter. So this one's very yellow toned. Hopefully it'll work out. Let's see. Oh, this will work. It's a nice kind of pale yellow, so it'll just kind of help with brightening, I think. But the one I have is number 5, I think, L5. This is L3, and I just needed something a little bit lighter for the under eyes. This is one of my favorite, favorite concealers. It just does not crease. It does not move on the skin. It's so good, so worth it, and it's always nice to pick up during the Pat McGrath sales. So I did grab that. I grabbed this lip product here. I do think she is having a pretty big lip sale for Black Friday, but I was trying to get my purchase up to a certain amount so I could get the 30%. Um, this is the Lip Fetish Astral Lip Balm in Gold Astral. I've been hearing some good stuff about these lip balms. Um, just to add some shine, I've been loving just lip balm for daily use. I always have it in my car. It's just something I always wear, so I figured I'd try this out. Here's what it looks like. Maybe I'll put a little bit on, and it just has a light, like, shimmery finish to it, so go ahead and apply to the lips. It feels a little glittery, like gritty, but it's a light grit, and it's just going to add some shine and sparkle, so that'll be fun for the holidays. They feel really good, too, so I think this is nice as just, like, a lip topper, really. I don't know how it would look by itself, but I guess I could, like, swatch it for you guys and see... Um, it's going to have a little bit of a pink tone to it because it's what's on my lips, but it just adds a little shine. Okay, I finally bought this setting powder. I'm so excited. It's the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder, and it comes in the fun sequin bag. So fun. Uh, this kept selling out like crazy. I snagged the shade Light in this one. It even sold out during the Sephora sale. So this is a well-loved product. So this is what the packaging looks like on the setting powder. And then here it is. I've just heard that this sets the eyes so beautifully. It helps blur any fine lines or wrinkles that you may have. So I cannot wait to try this underneath the eyes. So excited to finally have that. It just always, always sells out during any sale. And then last but not least, I ended up picking up this little lip kit, which was too cute not to get. And it's their Love and Lust Gloss Duo. And they come in little heart shapes again with the sequins so fun uh, but mainly I wanted this because it had the shade number six I think it's called flesh six and that one was sold out in the full size but then I saw it was in this kit and I was like even better I can get it in the cute packaging these are so cute they come in the 0.25 size ah, adorable let's see how these open up and see what the applicator is like so um okay it twists out Oh, and then you have the little gloss stick or gloss dofa applicator. So if you guys haven't tried Pat McGrath glosses, they are incredible. So smooth on the lips. They're one of my favorite gloss formulas. So that one was the Flesh of Fantasy, I think it's called. And then this is the Flesh 6, which is always sold out. And this one's like a deeper kind of reddish pink it's really pretty too so that's a nice like fall color so really excited about these little gloss minis as well they're just adorable and i think that's gonna be it for this pre black friday haul it's nothing crazy just wanted to show you guys my ulta order and my pat mcgrath order uh if there's anything you guys are wanting i'm gonna link those down below don't forget to check out top cashback as well you'll definitely want to use them this holiday season to earn that cash back but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!